Hello beautiful people, uh, welcome to our channel and uh, like, share and subscribe. Um, so of recent, uh, the Lagos State Government has been um, um, enforcing and uh, demolishing houses. Um, according to their claims, um, those buildings are waterways. It might be very true, that's just the simple truth, it might be very true. You know, it, it, the flood in Lagos has been becoming crazy. So they are alleging that some people are building on the waterway, some people are pouring refuse on the waterway. So they have been kind of enforcing a lot of things, you understand? So in light of it, there was a recent demolition in Lagos, I've forgotten the area. Um, so MNEK, who was a former Super Eagle player, um, has said, you know, his anger is that, um, so he made a statement on, I think on Instagram, and he said that um, the these houses were demolished after getting approval. Uh, from the same Lagos, uh, Lagos State government, um, and he said Ibos are in trouble. Bring your investment back home, my people. We have Abia, Imo, Anambra, Enugu, and Eboni. Anyway, you don't know his inside info. Maybe he has inside info, and he knows some people that own some of those properties. So you cannot really blame him. And maybe approvals were really given to those properties. When you go to the comment section, the people are saying he's being divisive. He's being divisive. These are all chains. It's just social media has a lot of all chains, and I can know. I, I can guess where the people making saying is, is saying the divisive statements are, are coming from. You understand? A lot of people that cannot even talk to a many K one on one are just there spewing rubbish. I mean, he didn't say anything wrong. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't say anything. He might have inside info. But by, by the way, it's not even a new thing that in Nigeria governments will give approval and at the same time go against the approval. It's not this Nigeria that we know. Uh -uh. This is a mad society. The, the previous government can come give you approval. The new one will come say no. The approval is fake. This is a. I've seen instances where a, a governor will start demolishing a house of uh, of his, his his previous governor. You understand? Just because they are beefing, or a governor will start dis, dis, destroying businesses of opposition leaders just because they are not in the same party and they are countering him. You can imagine the madness. I've seen it. Even in my state, you understand? They, they will give you approval for something. They will cancel the approval. So that's the madness we are facing. So I don't know. I don't see anything wrong in what MNK said. I've said it that everybody should go and fix this region. I don't know why it is that even my friend from the Southwest, he only thinks that Southeast is undeveloped. I don't know who is giving him that impression. Apart from uh, Lagos, that... Uh, um, what do they call it? A small percentage of Lagos, a small percentage, listen to my word though, just a small percentage is developed. Many areas in Lagos are slum. Then when you talk of other southwest states, let me say I've not been so good. But I've been to Ibadan. When I went to Ibadan, I was disappointed. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, my friends have been to all these Abiyokuta, they, they were totally disappointed, all those uh, many states. Southeast is not, is, I don't think your, your other, other states in the southwest uh, as bad as many of you used to think, oh, you just need to travel. How many of you have been to Enugu? You need to see the modern residents there. You'll be shocked. You understand what I'm saying? So some of you just live in your, um, in your, I don't know, in your ideas that South East is very, very under there. Have you been to Enugu? I can, I don't know of any other South East states now because it's a long time I've been there. But I can bet you that Enugu, Enugu is more developed than. Uh, if you remove Ogun and uh, some parts of Lagos, Enugu, the residential areas can beat most part of Southwest. It's just that some of you don't understand. You understand what I'm saying? You should travel and open your mind. So I don't see anything wrong in what Emineke is saying. Some people are saying his statement is, is divisive. You understand what I'm saying? I, um, I don't think it's really divisive. I don't think it's really... Everybody should go... I, I said in this channel, we should go back to regional. Nigeria is right for regional government. Yes, they will say, ah, it's one Igbo man that destroyed it. Okay, that one was in 1960. Now, the challenges we are facing, we need to go to regional. Then if regional doesn't work, we divide. Let's go to regional. We already have six regions. Let's uh, share the federal education into six. Equal, equal number. Everybody collect equal, equal number. Let's not say uh, one region will collect more. Because it will not make sense. You understand what I'm saying? Re uh, money you collect doesn't mean you will develop more. Or... Um, I don't know, but I feel like that's the best way to share it. You understand what I'm saying? Now, your industrial tax in your region, you will collect it. You own your industrial tax. 
I think that will bring, or you have, have a certain percentage, I think that will bring a little of competition and development. Then uh, communities who own resources will have maybe 10%. That's the only people they give. The state as a whole doesn't collect. Only the community that has. So whether it's for oil, whether it's for coal, whether it's for gold, you understand? Only the community gets 10%. That 10%, they will have, I'm having a board of trustees where the money can be used for education, for health, or for um, giving food subsidies, one way or the other. So that community people will benefit. But before that, all those things are done, we also need ID cards, national ID cards. So this is the way we can go for regional. But apart from that, you don't know the information he has that is making him t- he say that uh, Igbos are in trouble. You don't know whether he has friends that have properties there. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know whether he has friends that have properties there. Me, I'm not from the southeast. I've mentioned it. But I've, let's go regional, please. Let everybody compete. Let's fight our own people. You know, if you're a regional, you know, black people will be fighting Tinubu. Igbo people will be fighting P2B. Atiku, I don't know where, whether it's not east, I'll be not west, I don't even know. That is Adamawa. You understand? Those people will be fighting him, you know? Let's go regional and we'll have one ceremonial president. Six mayors. If you go to South Africa, South Africa is more of like regional. But they, they call it provinces. It's more of regional. So every region is not equal. If you go to Eastern Cape, it's poorly developed. If you go to uh, Western Cape, where, that's where Cape Town is, it's well developed. You understand? Because they have resources. If you go to KwaZulu Natal, it's a bit developed because they have small resources and seaport. So that's our development. It brings competition. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody competes with each other. You know, everybody's hands cannot be equal. You get ahead. So that's it. Your industrial tax, you earn almost a higher percentage, then you give small to the center. Then the defense center will control army and police. Of which the army and police cannot go into any other region except approval from the um, uh, regional um, House of Rep and Senate. Uh, they say where they will cap everybody's salary at one million, five hundred thousand, and even set a minimum of maybe five. You must have PhD before you become in House of Rep for each region. You know, just things like that. I feel like our growth is not uniform. Let's go regional, so that if you're building schools in the uh, southwest it will be in the whole southwest region if you are building schools in the southwest it will be uniform not where uh, ogun is building uh, abiokuta is not building or uh, boni is building uh, imo is not building you know so uh, there's a lot of that's why you see that nigeria is not growing the growth is uneven let's go regional please the region is not working we divide we divide you understand what i'm saying we are not if the country everybody can lie to each other we are not, the country is not in harmonization because of economic deficiencies that our leaders have um, put to the people. The leaders have intentionally made the people economical, economically deficient and educationally wise, deprived people of education and infrastructure. So that's why everybody is clamoring. If Nigeria has economic uh, equity and um, infrastructural development, we will not have all this clamor. You see all this clamor for a break, it will not be happening too much. Yes, people always have sentiments about uh, feeling that they will do better on their own but you see if everybody's if there's equity you see this clamor will not be reduced so i don't know i didn't see anything wrong with him what many case said but a lot of people are having problem with it in the comment section anyway don't you think it's high time apart from ibos every other people south south southeast north central everybody fix your region if all the people in the north central we're fixing their region or the northeast they will not allow boko haram to invade there now they will not allow it. Imagine you have you're a big commissioner, you have houses there. You will not want you will not want terrorism to grow there now. So because many of them run away from those places, leaving only people that is poor there. That's why everybody is just, you know, fighting for selfish interest. Anyway guys, do you think uh, what Emily K said? Do you find any problem in it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.